this installation, Seeing a River, it was inspired by a Japanese word, which is yozakura. And yozakura is the word for the cherry blossom, sakura, um, with the word yo at the start. And yo means night, so it's the combination of night and sakura. It's interesting because, for example, in Germany, we don't have the words, these words of a sensitivity for changing weather or changing seasons. A tree is a tree and it doesn't change when it's night or another temperature. So Yozakura is referring to that notion and uh, like a sensitivity to that feeling which yeah Japanese culture has I think more than other cultures too. So that was the starting point, I'd say, to think about perspectives and changing perspectives. Also, when I first heard about the word yozakura and what it means, I started realizing, oh yeah, the cherry blossom does look really different in the night so that we need sometimes words also to realize things so I have two projectors on a mobile and they are turning around each other Images are being produced and appear on the walls or in your eye is just a similarity of the way of seeing. Also with projectors, it's very interesting to me because the image which is being projected at the moment is, is a past image, so it used to be seen by me or by my camera and then I put it back into the space, so it's a um, past reality but inside the present moment. So it's an actual new moment and it's creating new reality. I put on many different materials, papers and woods and um, the moving projectors sometimes project the materials and put their light onto it and you can see a glimpse of an image just for one second or even less and um, it shows a different reality of this image so you see a unsharp picture and only a, a piece of it, only a small piece of it. So it's just like when you look at yeah when you when you look at reality you don't you seem you see only what you want to see or what you're able to see but not the whole picture. It's not possible. 